What you guys got another video here for you this is another fixed video as you can see here we've got windows features box open here and we're getting an error message uh, 0 times 800 f 081 f and you can see this is happening because we're trying to install the dotnet framework which includes all the dotnet 2.0 and 3.0 as well and 3.5 you can see when we try to install this we get the error message um, that's popping up and I'm going to show you how to resolve this issue. So first off what we're going to do here, I'm going to close this off and as you can see we're getting the error. I'm going to click OK and what I'm going to do here is we're going to go to the start button here and come down to where the search box is and put GP edit inside here and open up the group policy editor. Once we've got the uh, group policy editor open here, what we want to do is come down to where it says computer configuration, where it says administrative templates here. Come down to where it says system, and on where it says system, we want to go onto the right hand side now, and then come all the way down here. Once we're here, we want to look for specify settings for optional components installation and component repair. Click on this, as you can see double click and then we'll have this box open up now once we get this box open up we want to enable this feature and then we want to go to where it says contact Windows updates directly to download repair content instead of Windows Server update services uh, WSUS I'm going to apply this and OK we can now close this off now we want to quickly right click on the uh, start button here and open up a command prompt. Click yes to the user account control here. I'm going to put GP update forward slash forward slash force. Just let that update the policy here. That's the policy updated successfully. So I'm going to go to control panel and then we're going to go to where it says uninstall a program and then back where it says turn Windows features on or off let that populate and then we're going to put the uh, dots back into this and hopefully this will work correctly needs to download files click the download files hopefully this will then fix our issue that's going to now apply changes to to that feature that we've enabled and there we have the uh, Windows components the requested changes have been installed everything's working fine and that's basically how you can fix that error message so that's basically how you can fix that error. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So I hope this one helps someone out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Also, if you've got any uh, video requests, you can always head over to my forums or any computer problems. Head over there and we'll do our best to help you out. Also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then hit us up over there. It's pretty easy to do. Just hit the like button. It doesn't cost you a thing. Anyway, have a great weekend and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.